Start by going up to the top and clicking on View, and then look for the Rulers option. Now, it might have a different version of Word than you're using, but the View menu should still be along the top bar. Make sure that the box next to the Rulers is checked. If you already have that done, then you're good to go. Two Rulers will appear around your document. The next thing you need to do is click, drag, and highlight all the paragraphs that need to be numbered. Once you have all of it highlighted, right click on it. In the middle of the menu that popped up, look for the option that says numbering. At the bottom of the side menu, there's an option that says define new number format. Go ahead and click on it. A window pops up, and a common mistake made here is that people will accidentally delete the, the highlighted one and then type one back in there. That numbers all of your paragraphs with one. So make sure you don't delete that highlighted one. Now find the button at the top that says font and click on it. In this menu, you can customize what the numbers on the side of your paragraphs will look like. Generally, you just want to make the font smaller than the rest of the text in the document. That's about the only thing you want to change here. By hitting OK in the last window, you'll come back here. Hit OK in here as well and just leave all the other options at default. Most of the time, Word will pretty much screw this step up. Don't worry, leave all your text highlighted and right click on the text again. Go back up to numbering and re-choose the format that you just made. Now all of your highlighted text should now look similar to this. Go up to your top ruler and click the box with the triangle on top of it. Click and drag that over to the edge of the margin. Now it's looking better and it should look something like this, but it's not quite there yet. Grab the triangle that's on the top of the ruler and drag that over to the half inch mark on the inside of the margin. The numbers should now be more separated from the rest of the document, but now you need the indents. Now look up to the ruler and look for the half inch mark on the inside of the document. Click there once, and a little tiny L should appear. When you let go of your mouse, your paragraphs should now be indented and your paper is ready to go.